Hello, Grace family. I want to give you an update, but first I want to say I love you. Tracy and I are praying for you. Our pastors, our staff team gathered online this morning, and we pray for every uh, member of our church family, every household at Grace. I want to share a scripture with you from Isaiah 54, verse 10. It says, Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has compassion on you. That's great news. That even though things around us are shaky, God's love for us is never shaky. Matter of fact, I think we'll look back on all of this someday and we'll be amazed at the things that God brought us through. Earlier today, I was driving by the church and I saw an army of volunteers at the food pantry out in the rain, handing out boxes of food as people were driving through. So we just want to say thanks to all those of you who are making a difference in the lives of other people, especially medical uh, personnel and first responders. Thank you for your service. We're praying for you today. So let me give you an update about church services, small groups, and prayer. First, church services. We are not going to be having services in our building for the foreseeable future, but we will be gathering online every Sunday, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We'll be broadcasting uh, uh, worship and a message. And then uh, those services will be available on demand after that. This coming Sunday is going to be especially powerful, so plan to join us online. Our Grace Kids team is preparing kids services that you can have at home with your family. And our students team is creating online experiences every Sunday for your students. So follow Grace Kids underscore Indy or Grace Students 317 to find these resources. They'll be posted on our social media platforms and on our website. Now, small groups. Now, even though we're physically distant, we can continue to meet in a virtual online video meeting sort of way. I'm encouraging every small group to continue to meet. Your group leaders should be in contact with you about what that looks like. Social distance doesn't have to mean social isolation. So let's stay connected. As a matter of fact, why not take time today to call two or three people and just say, hey, how are you doing? You might be surprised how powerful that can be. Now let's talk about prayer. Normally we meet every Tuesday morning for prayer in the worship center. But in this new season, we're going to go online for prayer every Tuesday evening at 6.45 p.m. We did our first online prayer service this past Tuesday, and we had a great response. Now tomorrow, Friday, March 20th, the first day of spring, by the way, has been designated as a day of prayer by our fellowship, the Assemblies of God. And our focus will be on stopping the coronavirus from spreading. I'll post a link to a prayer model that you can pray and use tomorrow about this. I just want you to be encouraged. This is a tough season for many, but God is with us and this too will pass. We're gonna come out better than before. We love you so much. Let me pray for you. God in heaven, we thank you that your love for us will never be shaken. And we thank you God for every member of our Grace family and everybody who's watching this. We pray Lord God that we would feel your presence in supernatural and powerful ways. Let your peace, your strength, your courage, your grace rest upon us, our household. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.